Welcome to another part of EZFM tutorial. In this one, we are going to take a look at the role settings. Now, this part will be hopefully rather short because there really isn't all that much to show. Uh, so, here's our role settings. Now, if you just uh, leave everything at the default, the uh, simulation will assume that uh, uh, the air density is uh, uniform across uh, all Unreal World and the default settings are based on uh, real world measurements at sea level. Of course it's possible to change it, either the uh, sea level values or it is possible to make air density and speed of sound vary with altitude. Now, uh, if you if you also downloaded the example project, it will come with a, uh, with two curves named air density and speed of sound. This is air density. This is speed of sound. These are based on real-world measurements and you can simply plug those in here. Excuse me. In here and when you now try to play the game the air density will vary with your altitude. So as you climb higher, okay, the effective airspeed will decrease. And so, and on the other hand, the effective Mach will also go higher. Now, as you can see here, I'm climbing and if you take a close look at the debug numbers, um, my indicated airspeed is staying the same, but I'm uh, going at higher and higher Mach. As you can see now, I'm supersonic, even though I didn't uh, accelerate. And other settings are wind. Now, wind is also rather simple. It's just a vector. This is uniform across the game world. However, you can change it uh, per aircraft. In other words, if you have some sort of own uh, simulation of wind currents, uh, you can always mm, uh, simulate uh, what, air, what wind it is at current location of the airplane and simply simply plug this vector into into EZFM. And finally we have roll scale. Now what this allows you is uh, to make the in-game roll uh, smaller or bigger than the default Unreal scale which is uh, uh, 100 annual uh, units per meter. However, uh, as you probably know, the size of the annual world is limited to 20 by 20 kilometers, and that's sometimes just uh, not enough for a flight simulator. So you can simply make everything smaller and adjust world scale all according to that. Uh, by the way, uh, these numbers uh, should be always uh, in uh, real-world measurements. Uh, when you change the scale, this will automatically change to accommodate that. Uh, by the way, if you mm, take a look at the example project, it's also in scale 0.1. In other words, 10 units per meter. 
And now that we already mentioned speed of sound, we might as well take a look at how you can set it to actually affect the flight. Uh, as you can see here, there's an option called Mac Curves. Okay, you can enable it and uh, plug some curves uh, that determine how the amount of lift and drag and stability changes depending on Mach number. Now, let me create some example of this. Okay, fold curve, let's call it. Excuse me. Mark drag. And at low supersonic, uh, at a low subsonic speed, the value will, will be just one. In other words, it will have no effect. This is multiplier, and at around max 0.75, the drag will begin to increase and at Mach 1 it will basically double compared to its normal subsonic speed and once we cross the sound barrier it's going to decrease again and then just go up up to Mach 2 okay and now if we if we plug it here and try same scenario as before. In other words, I'm going to take off and speed up to about Mach 0 0.5 and turn on auto throttle. And now pay close and close attention to the amount of auto throttle. Hold on a second, I'll speed it up a little bit. Okay, now, uh, as you can see, the amount of throttle applied now increases with the higher Mac. And at some point, hold on a second, I'll speed it up a little bit. At some point, it will exceed the amount of thrust that the engine can provide. For this particular airplane, it's going to be at quite high, high supersonic speed. But as you can see now that we crossed uh, the sound barrier, there was a brief decrease in required engine power due to the shape of the curve. Now, another thing that can be done is is max stability. Uh, this can be used to simu simulate uh, something called MACTAC, which is um, a sharp increase in uh, stability of the airplane at near Mach 1 caused by change of uh, center of lift. Now, this doesn't um, affect uh, modern airplanes as much, but uh, in um, jets from like Korean War era, it uh, was quite an important aspect. And I don't uh, really have uh, real measurements on how such curve uh, would look like, but uh, I found that just uh, reusing the mag drag curve uh, gives us rather rather good results, so maybe try that. By the way, there's going to be a short break in these tutorials because I'm currently busy working on version 1.1 of EZFM. And uh, in the comments, uh, let me know if I forgot to cover some areas or I didn't explain something properly.